Thank you, colleagues. Coach, thank you for joining us. I'd like you on the reserve. If you can just give us a summary of the 90 minutes from your side. Yeah. Based on uh, our situation, uh, having this package of uh, three games in uh, six days, Saturday to Friday, including traveling from Durban, um, the number of players uh, in the moment not available. Example, Cooper, the other could have helped us today. Uh, a number of players have been uh, coming back from injury out of uh, November, December. And as an example, we had to make a decision on uh, what we did yesterday out of the game. Uh, this uh, scenario in Durban against Richards Bay that uh, a number of players, uh, it would have been possible to use them if there would have been one day more recovery. Playing, for example, on Wednesday, we could have used Mpepa, we could have used Kamalo, we could have used Pache. But um, good, it was one day to close. We played on Saturday afternoon and uh, on the Sunday, we played uh, on Friday. Mm, good, we have on Friday now the next game. That is all uh, included in a certain way uh, to manage uh, in the moment the team. Um, we had our possibilities, and that was definitely waiting for the possibilities of a set play uh, out of a counter. Um, we had the possibility with a set play in the first half, um, could have been a goal. We had the possibility before we conceded, uh, Musonda uh, would have been possible to kick it in. Um, so, But uh, of course, it was based on, on a very clear concept to make it difficult uh, to have as a reference point the ball and your own teammate not getting pulled out of a uh, position um, and good. the resources of a team like uh, um, is phenomenal uh, I said it at the beginning of the season and in the end of the season uh, let's be honest uh, let's not uh, make jokes about it uh, it's a very clear opinion Sundowns will be at least 20 points in front of each and every body uh, it's a reality with the resources they have with the players uh, in terms of their um, fitness, uh, cohesion, um, very good understanding. We try to put a certain concept in. Uh, for us, of course, uh, the game on Friday is uh, something where, of course, we're bringing some, some fresh players in. We have them. Uh, let's see how we can do. We mixed a little bit around. Uh, Malinga is not 100% fit, they had an accident. Um, Musonda, uh, Vasim, Isaacs uh, also not. Uh, I have to play a little bit into this direction, 45 minutes, 45 minutes, to get some players uh, really mixed up, uh, to keep them uh, with a certain freshness uh, regarding to uh, the game on Friday. Uh, let's see. Um, good. Otherwise, uh, compliment, of course, to the next step from Sundowns uh, into their next championship. Uh, of course, it's only in May, but I think we can celebrate. Thank you, coach, for that comprehensive uh, yeah. post match uh, question. Please introduce yourself. Uh, coach, you have been in the club now for a reasonable amount of time. Me? Yes. 19 of December. Yes, I'm saying you've been <laughs> reasonable. <here now>. Well, <laughs> well. <laughs> Two yeah. games, what can you do? You, you, yeah. you play two games, 19 of December, you, you train uh, four days before you play more than less. Uh, the first one, there was a break uh, uh, so far. I don't know if it is reasonable, uh, probably we have to ask the experts okay. in the, in okay. the back. Uh, uh, it's, it's absolutely uh, only some days. It's a very, 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 very short time to work with a okay. team and to get something out. You have been with that for a short time. Um, have you been able to sort of quantify the amount of work that uh, we are faced with uh, between now and whatever time we have to so report. Yeah, no, good. It's, a, it's a bit of a, of a difficult situation. It's nothing to do. Uh, I think Musa did a good job and didn't care before too. It's uh, just there's a number of players. Uh, they struggled. They came in uh, with injuries. Uh, not really uh, in terms of um, being fully recovered, uh, a certain setup uh, uh, we try to bring in uh, based on the resources we have and that's always uh, something. You cannot put something in and play Shusha and Shoka 
uh, when you don't have the resources. Yeah? You cannot uh, go with a Fiat uh, 500 and uh, you want to win Formula One. That's not possible. Stick to your resources, stick what we have, and then develop it. Uh, we have to look into our uh, disc team side. There are, what I saw this morning in the training, there are two, three. Uh, if we get out, we have some other players now on the bench today with Ian Macaring and other guys. Uh, we have to bring them in. We have to bring them close uh, to help uh, ourselves, uh, in particular now, uh, what everybody knows, uh, the difficulty we have as a FIFA man. But good, we make something out of it and uh, it will not decide in January, not in February. The decision uh, where we are in the end of the season uh, will come uh, into the last matches in May. Saturday we spoke to coach Brandon Bolton and he spoke about how you were one of the greatest coaches in regards to tactics. And I think we saw that in the first quarter by any particular... 60. 60, of course, when they put the <laughs> So, any particular reason why you changed, you know, the, the, the I think the two, you know, played front, two strikers, yeah. seeing that you know, in the first quarter five, you really frustrated them? No, 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 it's, it's, a, it's a bit of a, as I said before, I, I know that we... we um, Malinga had a car accident, this was a minor one, but he had some, some issues, some problems. Uh, we know that Musonda and Basim both are, of course, in a short time of this training. Um, it's a little bit struggling, a little bit with the intensity here and there. So what are you doing? You have to be smart, you have to be clever. You cannot uh, put somebody into the ground and 90 minutes, 90 minutes, 90 minutes. Uh, we try in this moment to mix it up, to, to, to use the 45 minutes for a number of players. Uh, what we did in half time to take them out, to keep them, to give them the load. And then in this moment, uh, getting back into the a reasonable freshness uh, regarding the game on on, on Friday and the opponent uh, from Friday is uh, yeah the wait till Saturday they are relaxed they are recovered fully uh, good but it's our job uh, at our home game hopefully with the support of a number of uh, uh, fans to to make it happen uh, that's that's the reason behind it's it's not uh, of course we we worked with uh, certain uh, um, you know there are three moments uh, to break a defensive line from the opponent high up mid zone or lower. And the three moments is uh, uh, very clear. It's uh, around through the flanks, it's uh, through uh, vertical uh, going on the ground or over. And uh, we said, okay, uh, we know the uh, trigger pressing, uh, I think it's well known, it's not that we know it only, but uh, uh, I think Pirates, uh, the second goal when they catch the Tim, one against four, counter, second goal, and, and that's uh, what it is. We, uh, made the choice uh, to go around, flank, or in this moment over. Um, it's legitimate to break the line, to find the way, and uh, good. Uh, of course, if you have two players like, like Vasim and Mosonda, where you think they, they can uh, help you in, in terms of uh, one against one, in terms of winning, uh, make it something happen, then uh, good. That's, that's another reason for it, uh, uh, why to go into a change. Last we didn't change the structure, it was only in this moment because of uh, the reasons. Coach, last two questions for Google and Chawalan. Question is from Chico. Um, Coach, I wanted to find out, looking at the way Sambas is playing, do you think that they have had their physical training day? And then also, I understand that Sambas has been banned in terms of signing uh, the players. Is this kind of situation maybe even an impact in terms of the players that you are taking on the team? We played against uh, the second position team on, on, on Saturday. And if you really go into it and really watch it, uh, I'm, I'm still irritated how stakeholders uh, of the game uh, can make it happen uh, that a game like this ends 0-1 uh, in favor of uh, Richardson. Uh, but okay, good. there were a number of moments, uh, scenario, uh, um, where you really could say, why was it not possible to give a free kick, to give a penalty, to give uh, whatever in terms of uh, quite irritating. We only in this moment forget about it. Uh, we can't change it. Uh, everything was well done and uh, I think the chairman of uh, Richards Bay was quite thankful to each and everybody um, over there. Uh, I only want to, to talk about that we played a game where we had a really, really good chance and it should be 
in terms of the performance in particular after we conceded uh, with a penalty in the 11th minute uh, where we came into it and uh, in the second half I don't think there was a shot on target from, from Richards Bay. It was all, all into this direction that shows that we have a certain potential there, that we have a certain resource there um, not uh, to compete with Sundowns. Uh, uh, God heaven, but um, I think uh, with a number of teams uh, we should be able to, to get the, the points we are looking for. And uh, the first question I answered already, it's not about ability of uh, Sundowns uh, winning the league. Uh, for me, it's very clear they won the league already. Uh, if they continue uh, with the way, uh, they can only destroy themselves and they will not. They're too smart, too clever, and uh, the resources are there. Um, the, the, this, this championship is done uh, for this season. Um, Coach, I'm looking at, uh, <coughs> sorry, as you rightfully said, the 60 minutes that you played, you you had a point there that you were playing for, but at some stage things came down crumbling. What do you think went wrong? And tell me about your technical team since you got here. I see you've got, you've got Musanya Dama is there as well. This is, this and is, yeah. So what, what, what is your makeup of the technical team? Are you happy with what you have, who you have there? And what happened in the actual game? No, it's a, but it's a, it's a, it's a simple easy. It's, uh, I said it uh, again and again. It's, it's simple easy. We had a number of players. I don't know when Konda, Mon Miyama, uh, or Darren Machike, when did they play last time uh, for 90 minutes? Where, how, when were they involved at all? Uh, Tedwa and uh, Coop and some other players uh, who did the job before are not available in the moment. We had to, to find solutions, uh, what we did. And um, good. The, this. The, the, the concept works only if you have fully concentration uh, on the reference point of ball and your own teammate for, for 95 minutes. If you get a little bit uh, not in the right position, if you, the distance are not right, if you are not giving the pressure on the ball in certain moments, uh, yeah, then, then you have a gap, then you have a hole. And uh, that happens uh, because uh, some physical conditioning elements uh, coming in where somebody is not really in the right position, not really putting the pressure on the ball. And you know, that's what happened. That's what happened uh, uh, in particular with uh, uh, some positions. And uh, yeah, good. Then, then uh, in a short moment, five, six minutes, uh, you get two goals and that's it. And your team? My technical team is good. Yeah. Thank you, coach. Thank you, Felix. Okay. Yeah.